You know, I started talking to Dennis Weibert about your re renegotiation this morning. Talking? Jerry Rice, Andre Reed, Chris Carter? I smoke all them fools. And they're the ones making a big sweet dollar. They're making the Quan. And you're talking? Quan? That's your word? Hell yeah. That's my word. You know, some dudes have the, the word coin, but I have Quan. What's the Quan? It's love, respect, community, and the dollar too. It's the entire package. The Quan. Oh, good word. Towel? No, I air dry. Uh, listen, Rod, I say this with great respect for you, but those players you mentioned are marquee players. Yeah, I lost my spot here. <laughs> are marquee players. In this field, you know, we have... Uh, Marquee. Here's what I'm sorry, okay? This is a renegotiation. Well, we want more from them, so let's give them more. Let's show them your pure joy of the game. Let's bury the attitude a little bit and show them. Wait, you want me to dance? No, I'm saying to get back to the guy who first started playing this game. Remember, way back when you were a kid, it wasn't just about the money, was it? Or was it? Was it? Do your job. Don't tell me to dance. Well, fine. Athlete, I'm not an entertainer. Fine. These are the ABCs of me, baby. Now, fine, fine, fine. I do not dance. And also, I don't start the preseason without a contract. Fine, fine. Breathe, Jerry. Jerry, breathe. Look, I'm out here for you. You don't know what it's like to be me out here for you. It's an up at dawn, pride swallowing siege that I will never fully tell you about, okay? Help me. Help me to help you. Help me to help you. <laughs> I'm sorry. You're hanging on by a very thin thread. I can dig that though. No contract. Help me. I'll help you. I'll help everybody. That's my man. No, well, I'm happy to entertain you. Help me, help me. <laughs> Woo! Now go home to your wife. What's that supposed to mean? Jerry, why are you, what are you doing here? You could have told me all this shit over the phone. How about a little dedication for an answer? What about personal attention? You don't want to go home, do you? What are you saying, Rod? Hey, man, I'm just trying to talk to you. How's your marriage? You know, the whole husband and wife thing, huh? Well, not everyone has what you have. Then why'd you get married? I'm asking you as a friend. You want an answer? Loyalty, because she was loyal. I mean, everything grew from there. It just grew from there. That's an answer. That's the answer. <laughs> it's not sexy shit. That's an answer. Tell him what he's won, Bob. A beautiful marriage. Shit. Well, happy to entertain you, as always, Rod. Hey, now, I have a question for you. Are we really friends? Why not? I mean, because friends can tell each other anything as long as they have their friends' hats on. I think so. All right. I tell you why you don't have your $10 million yet. Right now, you are a paycheck player. You play with your head, not your heart. Personal life, hard. When you get on the field, it's all about what you didn't get, who's to blame, who, uh, who underthrew the pass, who's got the contract you don't, who's not giving you your love. You know what? That is not what inspires people. That is not what inspires people. I mean, shut up, play the game, play it from your heart. You know what? I will show you the Quan, and that's the truth, man. That's the truth. Can you handle it? <laughs> Sorry, eyes. Just a question between friends, you know? Oh, and when they call you shrimp, I'm the one that, I'm the one that defends you. I don't wanna be friends anymore. Well, fine. Quit using that word, Quan, that's my word. I'll see you in LA. No heart, no heart. I'm all heart, motherfucker. Start, it's a good start. Um, okay, so Jared, let's start with you. Um, so, 
how do you see this guy? What, what thing, what's going on with him? Uh, high energy, um, very prideful of himself. Yeah. Um, what does that mean? Thinks really? very highly of himself if, if he compares himself to Chris Carter and Jerry Rice. Yeah. Anything else? Um, do, you think do you think he's insecure? Yes. About what? About his abilities. That's why he has to act so big, you know, the Quan and you know, I, I got better better stuff than they got the coin, I got the Quan. So he's trying to overcompensate. I guess one thing I'm wondering about is um how how does the whole thing factor with when it comes to the money you know and how um tim says things to you like you, you know you get back in touch with you know the game well, what about that as far as like how i feel wow well, i'm just wondering what does that say about you oh then i'm not playing for the right reasons okay so you, you you're playing for, for what? selfish reasons What's, what, what are the selfish reasons? For money. So <clears throat> do you think that, do you think that Jerry's a good agent? No. Why not? Why would you be with him if you didn't think he was a good agent? Well, I think he's the only agent he can get. I mean, I thought that you were with some high-powered agency and you went with him because he kind of sold you on being with him. True. So I, I don't I don't know that it was that you couldn't get another agent. It's just that you you kind of bought into Jerry's pitch. Okay. You know because I think that he lost all of his other clients except for you. you were yeah, the I know I'm his one. only client. Huh? I said I know I'm like his only client. Once yeah, because he he, he kind of he quit his or he got fired. He quit whatever. He oh. left left his other his agency. So he's starting his own company. And mm -hmm. so there was something about Jerry that made you buy into this. Well, it seemed like they were friends the way he's talking to him on the second half. So that's why I was kind of like, he came out very prideful, like, hey, I need my money. Da, da, da. But then he's like, how's your marriage? How's the wife? You know, why don't you go home? You could have told well, me this I, on the phone. I think, I think you need to get more in touch with your loss of like what you're focused on. Okay. You know, I think that um, this is probably why you're not getting the money that you should be getting is because you're playing for the money. You know, <clears throat> instead of playing, yeah, it's about a paycheck, sure. But, like, it feels to me like you've kind of lost touch with why you got into the game in the first place. Mm -hmm. You know, the first thing you're thinking is, where's my money? Yeah. Instead okay. of, I want to play football. True. You know, and I, I understand that you're a professional athlete, but, um, you know, you need somebody to kind of kick you in the ass and remind you, you know, of what's important. Um, and I think that this, <clears throat> this very thing that Jerry is doing to you is what you need to hear, you know, so that you can kind of get your priorities back in line. Okay. So Jerry's giving me the honest truth. Yeah. And I think that's one of the reasons that you like him is that he doesn't bullshit you. He kind of, he doesn't sugarcoat things. Okay. That's why he's like, you're my man. You hang on by thin, thin thread. I dig that about you. Yeah. I mean, um, what, what is it that you say that line, you're hanging on by a thin thread. So what, what does that mean? I, I was confused by that line. I'm not going to lie. Um, because it sounds like he's threatening them, but at the same time, it sounds like he's joking as well. When he says what? That you're hanging on by a thin thread. And then he's like, yeah. I dig that about you. He's like, when you say thin thread, you think he's about to fire him. Yeah. Um, but then he's like, I like that about you. No contract help me help you let's get it you know yeah so what is the, what about that do you like about it? he's on, on edge so like that's more and uh it gets me more excited because he's well that. i mean in a way jerry is kind of asking you to be more courageous be more courageous okay you know he's kind of like pushing you to be like okay no contract go in there and fucking play the game you know and you know in a way you kind of like hearing that again. You know, and I, it's almost like you need somebody to remind you to love the game again. Okay. And that's what I think you, one of the reasons that you like Jerry so much is that 
he's not just exclusively about the money and he's not saying it's just a paycheck. He's he <clears throat> kind of cuts through all the crap and says, okay, you want the money, we're gonna get you the money, but let's look at this part first. Mm -hmm. And it's kind of what you needed to hear. Okay, so that starts I, to sink in when he's saying those things to me. I think, I think you, 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 uh, you agree with him. Mm -hmm. So when you say you're hanging on by a thin thread, you know, I love that about you. You really do love that about him. You know, because the other agents wouldn't give a fuck if you liked the game. It's about, the, I want my 10%. Yeah. And the fact that he's saying this to you, that he can kind of, he can kind of read you. You know, he sees you. <clears throat> he doesn't see you as just a dollar sign. He sees what you're going through. And he kind of looks through it all and he kind of goes, this is where my, what my client needs to hear right now. Hmm. And I know I mean, he may not want to hear it, but I'm going to tell him anyway. In a way, Jerry's kind of being ballsy there because if he loses you, he has no clients. So it really does command respect from you too. Hmm. Like as much as you're like this ballsy athlete, your agent is being probably even more ballsy than you because, you know, if you leave him, you can get an agent elsewhere. You are a professional athlete. Yeah. But where's Jerry going to go? And he's calling you out. So it really does make you, like, respect him. Does that make sense, Jared? Yeah, it makes it, it put me in that place to where, where I need to be at as far as I'm focused on this and the third. And then Jerry's the one that's actually really, really me into what it is I need to be. Yeah. Focused. So start the scene with this sort of like arrogance, cocky, I got the shit, it's all about the money. Until yeah. like as the scene goes on, it's like a wake up call. Okay, yeah. That's what um, I was thinking because when I was reading the dialogue, I felt that I'm like, there's a shift here with the way he's talking to him. I mean, I don't think it's an accident that they have you in the shower and the guy offers you a towel and you say, I air dry. Yeah. <laughs> you know? <laughs> Maybe not. People are lucky enough. They should be paying me for this shit. Yeah. You know, to see yeah, me. Yeah. You know, and so why, by the way, Tim, do you understand why you offer him a towel? Yeah. Yeah. It's like a little odd. Like, you know, like you're sitting here talking like to me. Towel, you're, yeah. He's like you're completely naked. Like, no, yeah, I hear it, right? <laughs> yeah. But it's, it's not even, uh, it's, uh, Jared, it's not even that I heard, it's an I heard drama, the fucker. Yeah. Yeah. You know, don't ask me to put a fuck. I don't hide anything, man. Mm -hmm. I am who I am. Give me the quad. Yeah. <laughs> uh, anyway, so uh, Tim, this this guy you're playing, he's energized, kind of like the agent you were playing from Entourage. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But he's not, um, Tim. He's not like uh, he's not unstable in the same way. Right. You know. So y you gotta you've gotta be, I guess, more slick. Mm -hmm. You know, and, and, and be a great salesman. Not that you're trying to, you know, sell a shitty car to somebody. It's that I'm selling you a Rolls Royce. And I'm really making you understand that it really is an incredible car. And yeah, I'm trying to sell it, but I also really believe it. So when you're talking to him, you, you've got to be extremely passionate, extremely slick. It's, you know, very, very um, on your on your game, it's, pardon the pun, totally like sharp. And I mean, uh, he, he, he knows his shit. He knows what to say. And I don't think he's selling, he's saying it as a pitch. I think he's, he speaks from the heart. Um, you don't really want to tell him the things that you end up telling him today. But it's like pushed into a corner. You're going to tell him, you know. So does that make sense, Tim? Yeah. No, the guy's trying. He's trying to get him his killer contract, and he's still spouting attitude or whatever, you know. So. Yeah. yeah. <sighs> you know, or at least at the beginning is. <laughs> you know. I would like to see you also work on the smooth. You know, it's very different from the other characters that we've been working on. Because some of the characters we've been working on have become kind of dweebish, kind of like, you know, nebbishy, loser-type characters, which are fun to play. But this is, like, not that guy. This is, like, a, a confident, 
I don't want to say cocky, but he's a confident, really good, high-powered power agent. So, you know, he's got his shit together, you know, in a way. So um, be careful because once you start getting too animated and shifty and big, you become weak. So I don't think it's an accident that they cast somebody like Tom Cruise. You know, they cast, you know, your typical leading man for that role. They needed somebody.